Hello, my people. Welcome to another episode of the Risky News. I am your host, Heart of the Hawk. See, I said it right this time around. And we are about to go to the episode 11 of the Risky News, just summarizing what happened in the week of uh, that ended on November 3rd and what's I'm looking forward to the next week in the Risk Tournament Scene community. So the first thing that we are going to be talking is the Risk Tournament 2024, people. This is a tournament that is happening in the in the uh, Kill Pit. <coughs> that is happening in the uh, in the Kill Pit server. And the first game is going to be starting. The first games are going to be starting this week. And the first game, the settings are classic map, world domination, no blizzards, no fog of war, no portal, and it's going to be progressive. It's going to be AI expert, 60 second timer, and with alliances, balance blitz, automated bot. If somebody bots out, or if you start with a bot. The map, of course, is the classic map, as you can see right there. It's a map that we all see, that we all know, and most of us love. I don't love it that much anymore, but this is the classic map, and everybody knows the uh, bonuses. You have North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia slash Oceania, right? So those are the bonuses that you have on this map. And we're going to go with the keys, though. Uh, something really important to say is that this first week is only for players that they do not have absolutely any tournament experience so if you have played in a few tournaments in the past then you may not have to play this game but if you haven't if this is your very first risk tournament then you are gonna be asked to play this game uh, so what are what are the keys for this game people the first thing is um play you just need to play. The moment that you play the game, automatically you are going to be moving on to the next round. So play the game. That is all you have to do. Play the game. If you join a, if you join the game, you play. Doesn't matter. Nobody's going to be eliminated. You just need to play the game. Okay? Play the game and you are automatically moving to the second round. If you see a lot of people practicing for the second round, me included, it's because I have tournament experience. So I am not gonna be, I, I'm not gonna be playing the first game, but everybody plays, everybody has played the first game, the classic map with progressive card, uh, card traits. So just play and you automatically move on to the second round. The next advice that I can give you, but again, I guess everybody already know how to play the classic map, but, um, Spread yourself out, folks. This is a progressive game. Don't go for bonuses. You do not need a bonus in progressive. You need to ensure that you are in as many places as you can be. You could go for a bonus if you have like a god spawn. Like if you have three out of the four territories in Australia, go for it. If you have three out of the four territories in, in South America, sure, go for it. Why not? But if you have to be constantly eliminating players position you're going to be fighting for australia people or you're going to be fighting for south america people or you're going to be fighting for africa or something this is not fixed you do not need a bonus you need to be in different positions so it's harder for you to get killed okay so unless you have a god spawn don't fight for a bonus okay don't do that the next thing is uh only go for kills whenever it's worth it uh and when it's worth it it is worth it whenever you can trade in turn. This is progressive, people. So if you kill somebody and you're sitting on four cards or, or you're sitting on four cards or you're sitting on five cards, uh, good chance that you're not going to make it another turn. Again, this is prog. This is progressive. Trade only when after a kill, you are going to be trading in turn and the trades are big-ish enough that you're going to be getting back whatever you spent trying to kill a player. If you kill a player in the first turn, uh, and you're gonna have to eliminate like 20 troops to get back four you are gonna be eliminated from the game so again this is just basic progressive strategy i'm just gonna say that because why not start with the very first game um but the keys are gonna be more important whenever we move forward to other games okay so just these are the keys if you want to win this game you really don't need to win it it really doesn't matter the only thing you have to do is play and then you move on to the next to the next run okay so that's it. Moving on to the next portion of this uh, week. We have the 2v2 tournament. In the 2v2 tournament, as you guys know, the settings are the same one for every week. Uh, these are the default settings, which means that if there is no clarification, these are going to be the settings that you have to input whenever you're going to be playing a game. These are going to be the settings if there is only a map name. But whatever they mention in the map information, then that is going to be changing from these default settings. What are the default settings? First of all, no blizzards. Yes, fog of war. 
no portals, auto placement, progressive card uh, bonuses, AI is always going to be expert, 60 second timer, with alliances, of course, but usually you just ally your partner because it's 2v2, right? Neutral bot inactivity and balance blitz. If they clarify something, if they mention something in the map, then that is what is going to be changing, okay? So the maps for this week are going to be, you know, usually you play five games and they play the games and they just score whoever wins each game, right? So the first map is going to be Rivertown Advance, World Domination. <laughs> you have to kill your partner, which is harder than you think. And because you have to kill your partner, you have to find them. And because you have to find them, there is no alliances. So you're not going to be able to see the positions of your partners. You have to communicate each other so you can kill each other, okay? And there is going to be one bot, which is supposed to make it easier for you to just die to the bot, okay? Now, the second game is going to be the North US Northeast. That is one of the newest uh, map pack that was that was actually the newest map pack that was released. Is US Northeast Capitals and Stable Portals. The third game is going to be Emergency Call 70% Stable Portals. The fourth game is going to be Operation Adams with Zombies and Unstable Portals. And the last one is going to be Australia. No, actually the last one changed. Yeah, my bad. The last one is going to be Connersburg Caps, and I don't know what by means. I should have removed that. Uh, okay, so moving on to the Pharaoh's Pyramid. I couldn't find anything to that, so I'm sorry if there is no updates, and I didn't have time to ask. I will ask for next week to ensure that we know what's going on with this tournament. Moving on to the VIP Invitational Tournament. We couldn't get the settings for this week, uh, for the, but for the third week, they announce the settings for the third round uh, on Monday. Sadly, I do these things on Sunday, so I didn't have that information. And again, the settings for the fourth round, there are also going to be released tomorrow, so I don't have them for today. I will just bring them next week and let you know what happened last week. And if they include the weeks, uh, the settings for the fifth round, then I'll try to include them. But if not, then I'll just mention them in next week, the ones for the previous week. I am sorry, but they're not available right now. So the last week... Uh, settings for the third round were Turkey, uh, World Domination, uh, with Fog of War, Unstable Portals, uh, Progressive. The worst kind of, uh, of course, it was a six-player game. Then you have the second game was Las Vegas, Nevada, Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, you couldn't hold a bonus. That is something that I didn't know. Uh, it is there, but I took this from the webpage. It was not in the group chat, in the group thread, and I took a bonus, so I have to bot out and be eliminated from the second game. And the third game was Dino Canyon, Zombie Apocalypse, uh, Unstable Portals, Progressive Cards. So these were the settings for the last week. Again, whenever we get the settings for next week, we are going to be including them next week, I guess. Now, moving on to the next tournament. Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to say. Now, moving on to the next tournament, we have the Grand Master Tournament. Right now, the Grand Master Tournament, uh, as we speak, well, let me let me move on, let me move on to the actual settings for the fifth round so the settings for the fifth round the fifth round is going to be played only by the people that are still in the first bracket for those of you that don't know the grandmaster tournament has three different brackets and depending on the times that you lose you move you move you move down to a different bracket right so this week is only going to be played by the six players that remain in the winner's bracket okay so these six players are going to be playing three games the first game is going to be Britannia Advanced World Domination. Uh, there is no modifications. If there is a stealth mate, then it's, they're going to be moving to 70%. Uh, no blizzards, fog of war, with fog of war. Uh, portals are going to be uh, off. Uh, you have the auto cap place. You have the auto placement, progressive expert, and 60 seconds automated pod. The second game is going to be general processing units, zombie apocalypse, no modifications. If there is a stalemate, it's going to be 70%. So people have to capture 35 territories. Unstable portals, fog of wars on, no blizzards, an auto progressive expert 60 seconds with only five players. The last game is going to be uh, Dino World, 70% domination, 28 territories. Uh, and it's going to be a fixed game. Okay, so the fun thing about this is that uh, because it's only the winners of the game, uh, that means that the first three finalists, uh, for this tournament, they're going to be determined on today's game. That game is probably happening as we speak right now. Uh, so the players that are be fighting it off to try to qualify to uh, the finals are going to be Chris. We have Feliz, Jax Wild, Madden, Brabham, Brabham Hat, 
Cyclone and Nice. So you have these six players that they are going to be trying fighting it off today to qualify for the tournament. I know that Cyclone is a streamer, and I know that Madden is a streamer too. Oh, I, I don't, I'm not sure if Madden is a streamer. I know Cyclone is a streamer. So right now, if you want to watch this game, uh, just let me finish the news, please. And then after that, you might be seeing Cyclone playing or unless he won. Uh, and maybe you can, maybe Madden is also streaming it. We don't, I don't know exactly who else is streaming that game. But if you want to watch that, that is happening sometime today at 18.50 UTC. So yeah, the game started about half an hour ago. So... If Cyclone is streaming the game, you can be seeing, you can see whatever is going on in the Grandmaster Tournament, and you're going to be able to see what, uh, who is going to be advancing to the finals. And then the last three spots are going to be determined by the other brackets, and that is going to be announced next week. So the games for next week are, number one, Deutschland, world domination, no modifications, uh, the stalemate condition is assassin first to kill, you have the blizzards are going to be on, the fog of, oh, sorry, fog of what is on, Unstable portal, auto placement, progressive card bonus at 60 seconds, uh, expert AI with only five players. And then the next game is going to be Skull and Crossbones, 70% domination. Uh, so that means that you need 31 territories. And then you're going to have an X. Uh, if there is a stalemate, then you only go for 50%, which is 22 territories. It's going to be a prog progressive game, 60 seconds uh, with alliances and neutral bot. Uh, and it's going to be played by the four remaining players, okay? Moving on! This week, and that is the game that I played this early today, we have the Cuddle the Zombies tournament this this, this past week, right? Um, so for the upcoming week, for the second round, we are there are going to be two more games. The first game is going to be Africa Advance, of course, Zombie Apocalypse, duh. Uh, Fog of War on no blizzards, unstable portals, out of placement, progressive, uh, progressive card bonus at 60 seconds, automated balance blitz. Uh, the next, the second game is going to be uh, Six Tabia, Six Tabia, Six I don't know how to say that. I need to watch the movie again. Six Travel, Zombie Apocalypse with Blizzards, uh, Unstable Portals. It's going to be progressive, 90 seconds this time. And Modifier, first to die to the zombies. <laughs> okay, so that means that everybody, for the second game, everybody's going to try to decrease their troop accounts, their troop numbers, just so they can die to the zombies. People, you have to die to the zombies. If another player kills you, you don't win. So you have to die... To the zombies, okay? Let me make that clear, okay? <laughs> so that is going to be interesting, trying to see how people win that, <laughs> that that second game. Now, upcoming tournament, folks. With upcoming tournaments, we have, of course, the horror tournament. That game, uh, I think you still have time to log in. It's open to anybody. Ah, uh, yeah, and today, the close-up, the sign-ups, they close today. So that means that if you want to participate in this one, go to the main risk server and go and just sign up. Just write sign up in the sign up thread, and with that, you're going to be in into the horror tournament. Uh, and uh, yeah, the next game, the next tournament that is upcoming also in the main risk tournament is going to be the Freedom Face Off. This tournament is going to be happening on the. Um, yeah, this game is going to be happening in the main risk server too. But the fun thing is that this is going to be happening between. It's, this game is going to be played only using the. Um, the new map pack, the US Advanced map pack. So that is that is going to be all the games that are going to be played on that map pack. If you are interested, go ahead and sign up. I don't know where the sign up closed. I tried to look that up. I couldn't find that. Uh, but just for good measure, go ahead to the, to the sign up thread and write sign up. And then you are going to be able to play in the Freedom Country. Moving on, there is also another tournament. This tournament is called the 5AS. This is an invitational tournament. And this is going to be for... Uh, people that they invite over so if you're part of a team because this is a team tournament then if you are interested you can try to reach to somebody but uh, by now probably the teams are the invitations are, has already been extended um the next tournament we have of course professional risk takers right now they have two tournaments you have the speed caps and you have the prt cup for the speed cap uh this one the registration finishes today uh, so if you want to try to be invited, you can try to write sign up in the invitational in that in that thread. But 
that means that you have until today to be extended an invitation. Uh, the other tournament is going to be the PRT Cup. I didn't finish this one, this slide. But the PRT Cup, you have another week. That is an open tournament. You have another week to participate. So, again, you just have to go to Professional Risk Takers, and there you can just fill out the information. And that is it. Something that I didn't have chance. I, I We don't have still the next interview. That is something that we are going to be working on. But thank you to Eric. So, really, really, I want to thank Eric again for uh being uh you know for being uh, a really nice guy and agreeing to this interview he is doing a lot of things for the friends of risk, risk webpage and the, the risk community awards as well if you want to help out with friends of risk hey look for eric and make sure that you write that eric that you see on screen right there don't write the other eric because he's not the other eric um go to go uh, go and text and write DM him on Discord uh, that you want to help. And that way you can try to help with building this webpage that has a lot of resources for the risk community. And they they have a lot of nice things going. They have been doing a lot of great things with the page and they are working on getting more stuff coming and they need help. Uh, so if you have something to do, if you want to help him in one capacity or the other, either, either if it's with knowledge or maybe you can actually put on some of the work, feel free to reach out to Eric again. The latest thing that they have been doing with the Friends of Risk people, this seamless signing up to tournaments. That is something that, that was done in PRT, in Professional Risk Takers, but now you're having these big tournaments that are also using that kind of technology, and that is great, people. For those of you that are new to the tournament scene, folks, once upon a time, you have to fill out a, a Excel, a Google... Uh, Google Excel sheet, and you have to be uh, looking at a lot of information with work for the time. But whenever you have to update your availabilities, you have to go to each one of these places individually. In the Friends of Rick webpage, everything is centralized, which means that you're going to be able to do something, and that is going to be communicated, communicated to all the tournaments that uses the same system. And right now, that is most tournaments. So I love what they're doing, and I am so, so eager to see how they're going to be moving forward, for, uh, forward with the webpage. And if you want to help or if you can help, feel free to reach out to Eric and let him know, ask him how you can help, how can you be of service, how can you help him with the webpage. They're doing great things and they really deserve all the help that they can get, okay? And also, this is not on the webpage because I forgot to add it. Well, I didn't know because I didn't check the webpage today and that is 1% on me but also right now the nomination for the 2024 risk awards are open folks if you want to nominate people all you have to do is go to friendsofrisk.com and click in the risk community awards nomination once you do that you're gonna be there and you're gonna be able to choose the different categories that are there as you can see there is many categories and you're gonna be able to just nominate somebody it is open, which means that you can nominate whoever you want, uh, and those nominations count, right? And from those nominations that you guys actually do, then the, comi the committee is going to be selecting the people that actually are going to be winning that tournament. So your feedback is important. I'm going to be adding this. I'm going to be adding this to the presentation slide from next week forward, and we're going to be talking about this every week because it, it is important, folks. I'm going to cut the music right now because I do want. Yeah, I want you guys to focus on my voice right now. Um, the community awards are, I think, are an awesome idea. And I'm saying this because there is a lot of work that is done to stream, yes, to record, yes, to put together tournaments, yes, to host tournaments, to, uh, yeah, to host tournaments, to organize how the tournaments work, how test settings, that is a lot of work that gets done into that. And most people are not getting paid. So these awards are an awesome idea by Eric and his team to ensure that the effort that all of these people are putting together to get us all just playing for a few for a few tournaments, you know, for better or for worse, really doesn't matter. For better or for worse, you know, whether you like the tournament or you didn't, you participated in a tournament that somebody put together and some people collaborated to ensure that that information got spread out. So 
this is an awesome way to recognize the effort of all of these people because at least even though we the community right now is not big enough to get them paid to get them some monetary gain but at least a thank you and a recognition even if it's if it's an honorable mention it's good i think it's good enough to let them know hey you're we see what you're doing and we want to say thank you for it so go to friends of risk slash awards i'm gonna copy this and add it in chat Go to Friends of Risk slash awards and make sure that you choose your winners. Again, it's an open category. You can write there whoever you want to do, whoever you want to write. It doesn't have to be like one of the main streamers. It doesn't have to, you know, just write there whoever you think is the best one, the best candidate for those categories. And right now you have the categories that are, are right now. You have player of the year. So if there is a player that you have seen that they're killing it, that they are that they are every time everywhere in all the tournaments and they're consistently in the top in the top uh you know in the quarterfinals semifinals finals go ahead and mention those players if you want to recognize a player that they put out the work and at least in one tournament they made it to the finals write the name right there it's an open category nobody can tell you who you want you you can write it up okay the next one is going to be tournament of the year people this is where your voice is heard we know we know there is like 200 tournaments going on at any single time but most of these tournaments, they are completely different. So this is a good place for you guys to let them know which is your favorite tournament. For example, from the EG Sneaks interview, we know that his favorite tournament was Legends. Uh, from uh, Eric's interview, we know that his favorite tournament has been the Grandmaster Tournament. So if you enjoy the Grandmaster Tournament, if you enjoy the Free For All Tournaments, if you enjoyed uh, the Capture the Flag Tournament, feel free to write that here and people, you know, any of the tournaments that you have participated this year, write it down here and just to mention them that they did a good job and they put that together okay the next one is staff of the year and this one i love it the most people because again most staff don't get paid they don't get paid they put a lot of effort tracking people answering questions uh you know uh making changes the staff makes a lot of stuff they have to put a lot of work they have to keep track of a lot of stuff and they're not getting paid. They're doing that because they like the game and they like what they're doing. And I love this category the most because this is a good way to recognize the staff of these many tournaments just to let them know, hey, we see you and we love what you're doing. OK, so go there and write and uh, go there and write and let them know. The next one is going to be the best new tournament. This year, we had a lot of new tournaments uh, that they pop up. Pro, uh, PRT, Professional Risk Takers, they had like a lot of new tournaments going. And they come up with different ideas at uh, uh, any single time. And also, like we have like the Call of the Zombies. We have, there is a lot of new tournaments that just pop up this year. And it's a good way to recognize them because maybe somebody enjoys the Grandmaster tournament the most. But you have like this tournament. Hey, I'm biased. The Capture the Flag tournament. Uh, that is a new tournament that maybe it wasn't as good as the Grandmaster tournament, but hey, it was enjoyable, it was new, so let's recognize it. Again, I'm biased, I know, I know, but it's the only example that came to my mind. Also, we have the new player of the year. This is a good way to recognize a player that they just show up out of nowhere this year and they just kill it and made it, and made it all the way to the finals. This is, or something like that, that they, they just came out of nowhere and they just storm out of the gate and they are making waves in the community. If you see a player like that, just write their name right there. The next one is gonna be community resource of the year. The community resource can be any person, any system, any bot, any website, any server. Anywhere where you see that they have a lot of resources that has helped you in your risk game, risk progress, risk whatever. I know what I'm gonna be, I know what I'm gonna be uh, nominating, but I'm not gonna say that right now. Also, we have the content creator of the year. There is a lot of people, people, a lot of people that they are streaming. Right now, we have a lot of, we have a lot of options and that is great. I firmly believe that the more people that are streaming out there, the better for two reasons. Number one, not everybody is everybody's cup of tea, right? Maybe some people watch my stream. Most people, of course, watch Pete's, Kilted. You know, you have the big streamers. Uh, they do their own thing. And you have other people that do more body, variation games. That is a little bit for everybody, right? And if we have a lot of people playing Risk, that means that at any given moment in time that somebody wants to watch somebody playing Risk, they're going to have options. And that is what we need options because maybe somebody doesn't like my style maybe those people doesn't like that i am mostly teaching people what to do and i'm going like in the in-depth explanation of what to do and they just want to have watch somebody that is more like fun and they're just like having fun and reacting 
that is something for everybody. And also, I would love to see more people from different countries um, also broadcasting. I saw, I think it was Abu Jack. I, yeah, I think, yeah, I have seen Abu Jack stream. I don't talk anymore because the last time that I talked, they swapped to English and hey, they're in Arabic. Let them do their thing. You know, there is people in Arabic that they would love to watch uh, stuff in their content. And, uh, but also, you know, people in other from other places, people from Italy, people from, uh, I don't know, Croatia, People from China, people from, well, China's going to be hard, right? People from other places that they speak other languages, Indian, it would be awesome to have streamers from those places just bringing an option in their language to all of these people. And again, if you want to start, just do it. But also, this is a good way to, this is a good way to recognize those streamers. And the last one is going to be the best moment of the year. What happened in the year that actually was like awesome? What happened that actually like was <coughs> something memorable? These are the categories right now that there are available and you are able to write number one, who the person is and why do you think the person deserves that spot? You can write just because and that can be considered, okay? So that is it. And after you do that for each category, you just hit submit and then everything's gonna be recorded and everything's gonna be taken into consideration by the awards committee, okay? So that is it. That is the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys today. This already happened, my bad. I was looking for the actual, uh, I don't see any developer's news. So with that, folks, I am gonna, I'm gonna finish the risky news and I'm gonna say bye. That's everything from today, people.